Hello everyone. In this video, I will talk about Boots multiplication algorithm. So in this, uh, I will introduce some basic concepts, then algorithm with the help of flowchart and rules and an example, then I will conclude. So Boots algorithm basically is a procedure for multiplying binary integers in two complement representation. Okay. It is used because uh, in this there are less number of uh, additions and subtractions are used and uh, it is basically uh, depends upon uh, some bit examinations and uh, uh, shifting of partial product. Okay, shifting uh, here used is uh, arithmetic right shift in which uh, we copy the sign bit as it is and uh, with the sign bit all the bits are shifted uh, right by one. Okay. So coming through the rules, uh, prior to shifting and uh, the multiplicand uh, will be added or subtracted or remain constant means unchanged uh, depends upon some rules. Uh, the rules we can see properly in this flowchart more easily. So here we have uh, five things. First is accumulator which has number of bits same as uh, the number of bits we uh, so the multiplicand generally or you can say higher, higher magnitude number. So uh, initially we feed accumulator as 0. Q minus 1 is basically uh, shifted LSB of multiplier which is initially assigned to 0 and uh, M uh, is the register which stores the bits of multiplicand. Q is uh, uh, used for storing multiplier. And uh, N is number of bits in uh, multiplicand. Or you can say high magnitude number. So we can take N as it is. Uh, and uh, or we can uh, say any other variable like count. And we store the number of bits there. Okay. So after initializing, we will check the Q0 and Q-1 bit. Q0 is, uh, means after shifting, after right shifting are uh, AQ, means uh, accumulator and uh, multiplier. What are the last two bits after shifting right? Means Q-1 is uh, shifted uh, bit of class uh, or multiplier and Q0 is, uh, LSB of multiplier. Okay. So we will compare Q0, Q1 value. If it is 0, 1, then we will add the accumulator with the multiplicand. If it is uh, 1, 0, then we will subtract with uh, multiplicand. Otherwise, if it is 1, 1 or 0, 0, we will simply shift it uh, with the help of arithmetic shift right. And we will shift AQ, Q minus 1 arithmetic shift right and then we will decrease the count and uh, in case of 1 0 and 0 1 we will first uh, subtract or add the multiplicand with the accumulator and then shift uh, aq q minus 1 arithmetic shift right once and uh, then we will uh, update the count by count minus 1 if the count uh, is now 0 then we will end and the uh, result will be stored in aq and uh, if it is not 0, then we will again check for Q0, Q-1 and it will go up to count checking. Okay. So, coming to the example. Let's, uh, let us think we have to multiply minus 3 with minus 7. Okay. So, uh, first we will represent, uh, we will represent the values of uh, minus 3 and minus 7 using uh, 2's complement okay so for negative uh, negative number we will use 2's complement if we have positive number then we will write as it is so first we will see uh, in uh, how many bits we can uh, write minus 3 and minus 7 so uh, if uh, you remember in 2's complement the range of number is uh, minus 2 to the power n minus 1 to 2 to the power n minus 1 minus 1 okay so from there we can easily derive that uh, 
both of the numbers can be easily stored in 4 bit okay so using 4 bit accumulator will be initialized at 0 so a will be uh, four zeros q will be the two's complement of minus 7 that is multiplier okay so minus 7 will be first we will write uh, 7 in 4 bits that will be 0 1 1 1 okay and uh, we will take uh, one's complement okay so that will be 1 0 0 0 and we will add 1 to get 2's complement of uh, that number and that will be 1 0 0 1 and that will be a representation of minus 7. Now we have to uh, take uh, minus 3. So minus 3 will be uh, derived as 1 1 0 1. Okay. 1 1 0 1 uh, means uh, 0 0 1 1 will be representation of plus 3. Then we will take 1's complement and add plus 1 there. That will give us 1 1 0 1 here. And uh, we have to uh, subtract multiplicand with uh, our accumulator. So for that, uh, instead of subtracting them, we can easily uh, use two's complement where we use uh, to add its uh, uh, the numbers complement one's complement with one and uh, add it to accumulator and we get the uh, subtraction value. So here we will add the number using two's complement and that will be the subtraction of the two numbers. So for that I have uh, calculated m dash that is complement of m that will be uh, one will be complemented to zero and uh, again one will be complemented to zero. Zero will be complemented to one and one will be complemented to zero. So that is zero zero one zero. Whenever I have to uh, subtract m there we will use a plus m dash plus 1 okay and q minus 1 initially we are taking as 0 so final result should be 21 and which will be stored in a q register let's see how it will happen so here we have flow chart and here the overall procedure <laughs> so we have basically four things and fifth is operation now we have taken accumulator as zero from here you can see q as a multiplier multiplier is uh, minus seven multiplier is minus seven okay this number one zero zero one q minus one is zero initially count is four okay so because Multiplicand and multiplier are stored in 4 bits, so count is 4. Now we will check Q0. Uh, so for Q, we can uh, name the bits Q0, Q1, Q2, and Q3. So Q0 is this. So Q0 and Q1. We will check these two bits. These are giving us 1, 0. So 1 0 we have to perform a minus m and I have earlier told using 2's complement operation we can use it as a plus m dash plus m. So m dash plus m, m dash is there as a 0 0 1 0 we have added 1 here and added to 0 0 0 0 and we got 0 0 1 1 okay and uh, q is as it is and q minus 1 is as it is now after that we have to perform arithmetic shift right arithmetic shift right means the sign bit will be copied as it is and all the bits uh, with the sign bit will be shifted towards right once okay so this will be shifted there and this will be this one will be shifted here and this one will be shifted here this one is this and uh, at last this one is shifted to q minus one okay <coughs> and our count after that count will be decreased by one okay so four minus one is three now we will check count is zero or not it is not zero 
so we will check again q0 q minus 1 so q0 q minus 1 q0 q minus 1 is 0 1 now 0 1 for 0 1 we have to perform a plus m a is now 0 0 0 1 and m is a is 0 0 0 1 and m is what was the m 1 1 0 1 what it will give us 1 1 0 that will give us 1 1 and 1 okay so it will give me 1 1 1 0 q and q minus 1 will be same as previous now we will go to the next step uh, that will tell us arithmetic shift right so we have to shift it arithmetically right so this will be copied here this will be copied here this will be copied here similarly this will be going to there and uh, this zero to here now we have to decrease count by one and uh, it will give a two now count is not zero again we have to check q0 q minus one it is zero zero so we have to directly go to uh, arithmetic shift right so we will shift it like previously this will be given to zero now again count is decreased and it is one not zero so again we will check q0 q minus one it is one zero and one zero we have to perform a minus one means a plus m dash plus one so after performing a minus one sorry a minus m we will get a value as this these two values will be unchanged and after that we have to perform arithmetic shift right which we have done previously similarly we will do here also and uh, similarly and at last it will be shifted to here and count will be decreased by one that will be zero okay so now we have count zero means it is end of procedure and we can take the value of a q as our output what is the output it is one zero one zero one two to the power zero is uh, one then it will be four one plus four five and it will be sixteen sixteen plus five twenty one means uh, and uh, sine bit is zero so it is plus twenty one which should be our answer and so it is right procedure okay so in this way we calculate uh, the multiplication problem using booth's algorithm so in conclusion we can clearly see that uh, it is used uh, efficiently for sign multiplication and uh, two complement form is used for negative uh, numbers and uh, multiple bits and shifting partial products are used and final results are stored in a and q registers okay thank you